Hello, I'm Skill Incarnate, bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Now, before we get into the video, you're probably wondering what game I'm playing. This is Starship Troopers. It is based on the Paul Verhoeven movie of the same name in 1997, and it's a really fun arena-style game in the vein of Serious Sam. For those who have played Serious Sam, you will definitely enjoy this game. It is very hard to pick up, and one of my friends managed to get me a copy and asked if I could put it on my channel, and uh, hence why I'm, I'm doing it now. It's also because I just finished the game, and it actually was a bit of fun. It's a, it's a very dumb shooter-style game, so leave your brains at the door. If, if you just want a quick arena-style game, and you're a fan of the movie, then you'll definitely enjoy this. Now on to the reason for the video. Recently I hit 300 subscribers and for someone like me that's a, an amazing achievement to think that I managed to get 300 people watching my videos. Now I'm still a very small, very very small YouTuber but I am starting to get a bit of a following and the main reason why I'm getting that following is that I, I have my tutorial videos. And I've, I've managed to work out what people enjoy and what they don't enjoy. And a lot of the feedback has helped to shape what sort of videos that I make. And the main, the main bit of feedback I've gotten is people love my tutorial series for Project Zomboid and also the other series which I've done for Seven Days to Die. Now, the reason why I made this video and the whole reason I started the channel was that I was looking myself for some good tutorial videos for games like Project Zomboid. Now Project Zomboid is my favourite game of all time and there are a lot of channels which have let's plays and some basic guides but I didn't find a channel that had a, what I felt to be a proper starting guide to the game. And a game, also one that featured some of the fantastic mods that are available with the game. So, my first video, the, the video that I made on a whim, was a base tour. I had been playing Project Zomboid for about a year at the time, a year real time. And I also had lasted in a game for about a year. Now, for those who haven't played the game, to remain alive in Project Zomboid for anything more than maybe a few months is a pretty big achievement. The game is very hard, and it features permadeath, so you can die very, very easily, and if you do die, there is no respawn, so you must start again from scratch. So, it was a pretty big achievement. Now, I did a base tour. Because in the 12 months of game time, I had made myself a very, very large base. And that video didn't get many views. But it did get a few views of some pretty, pretty cool people who gave me some great feedback. One of those was the YouTuber No Miss, who does his own Project Zomboid videos. He also did a few basic tutorials, but I... While his tutorials are excellent and are certainly some of the best on this channel, he didn't have a full tutorial for the game. A starting guide, a full how to survive guide. And I felt that I would have a crack at doing that myself. And that eventually evolved into my first tutorial video on YouTube, my first serious video. That was a day one or starting guide for Project Zomboid. Now that video is my most popular video on the channel. The pop most popular video I've made. It has a ton of likes, a ton of comments, and people have loved it. At this point, it's had over 1,300 views. Now in six months, that's actually pretty impressive. It's, it's by far the, the most popular video on my channel. So that has been really good and from that I decided to continue making tutorials. That original series actually made its way out to over seven episodes 
and I followed it up with another tutorial series after, which was also very well received. Now, my tutorials are very well well received. We get a, a, a heap of likes and a heap of people asking me for, for more episodes. So the focus of my channel will continue to be guides and tutorials because one, I enjoy making them and two, people enjoy watching them. The other advantage of doing this channel has been the amount of Steam friends I've made. Now I've had heaps of people who've uh, obviously seen my YouTube channel and managed to hunt me down on Steam. Uh, I'm not actually that hard to find, surprisingly. And have added me on Steam and have since become really good friends. So that has been an unexpected uh, but very pleasant side effect of doing this channel. And hopefully I continue to make some really good friends on Steam. And um, yeah, it, it, I'm not... I'm not trying to self-advertise, but uh, if you do feel like you want to play some games with me online, uh, I do. I do pretty much add everyone, unless you, unless you're a nutter, I'll usually add you. But it's been a great experience to make some some friends online on Steam and to get some feedback to all of my videos. Now, the other thing is the, yeah, the that I've managed to get some review copies of games so some developers reached out to me and actually offered me some review copies of games now some of these games hadn't even hit steam they were still in green light so it actually gave me a opportunity to do a little bit of uh, Q&A for some of these early games and evaluate them and also provide some feedback to the d developers and do a do a review now some of the feedback was well received and some of it wasn't but the main thing was that I got some really awesome games and I managed to play them before they even hit the Steam store which has been fantastic. Uh, check out my reviews if you, you haven't um, but yeah I, I do reviews semi-regularly whenever I get a new game on Steam. And hopefully I'll continue getting those keys so I can continue making the videos. And I will continue making them as long as, uh, as, long as I do keep getting interest from developers. But the main focus of the channel will always be my guides and tutorials and also Let's Plays. Now on to the last reason why I'm making this video. And that's basically my new series that I'm planning. So I'm planning to make a new series with a Let's Play based on the game Xenonauts. Now for those who don't know, Xenonauts is a spiritual successor to the game XCOM Enemy Unknown and is set in a Cold War era time period where an alien invasion has taken place. You are in charge of a clandestine government organization who basically needs to repel the alien invasion. And you are able to control your army. Now, the reason why I wanted to mention this is because you can customize your soldiers. You can give them names. You can give them a gender. You can assign a class and assign weapons. Now, I wanted to give my viewers the opportunity to be in the game. So, the information that I'll need, uh, if, if this is something that interests you, will be your name. Now, obviously, try and keep it clean. We don't want, we don't want any four-lettered words for people's names. I, I don't want to break any terms of service on YouTube, so try and keep it clean if you can. Also, your gender. Uh, gender is optional. I can make you either gender. Your class, again, optional. I can make you any class you want. And finally, your, uh, if you want, your nationality. Now, I believe the nationality is random, but I'll try and accommodate you if I can. If you can leave me that information in the video, then I will try and accommodate you as best I can. But at the very least, give me a name, and I'll add you in the video. Now... There is permadeath in this game. Uh, most of the games I obviously play do feature permadeath. 
and it is a roguelike game. So it is likely that your character may die. And if that happens, and if you want to get me to pop you back in the game, I will do so. Uh, again, I'm going to try and drive a lot of the engagement through the comments. So let me know what you would like to do. And I will add you in the game. I can re-add you if your character dies. Leave however much or however little information you want. The bare minimum give me a name and I'll do my best to accommodate you. So that was it for the video today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, it's been a really amazing experience getting to you three, over 380 subscribers. It's been great getting some feedback and it's been great making a heap of friends on Steam, which is a, a, a side effect that I didn't expect. So yeah, uh, hopefully that feedback keeps coming and hopefully you keep watching my videos and hopefully we get some feedback for this new series. Depending on the feedback I get is probably when I'm going to start. So I'm guessing I'm probably going to start sometime in the next few months, but that may change depending on how much feedback I get and whether I want to bump my other series which I'm currently doing back but uh, we'll see how we go so that was it um, again if you like this video please subscribe uh, leave your comments uh, leave leave a like if you like this video and uh, for if anyone happens to want to see more of this game Starship Troopers it is pretty rare then leave me a comment about that as well I don't know how much fun this will be the gameplay is fun but it, it, it's a little bit repetitive as you can see so I don't know how much people will enjoy it, but um, you know, if it's something you'll be interested in, then let me know, and um, I may accommodate you with that as well. Until next time, Skilling Carnate out.